amazing race with the need for speed to lead God's grace. And if you guys get like us when I was watching Days of Our Lives, you can't cope without hope, and that's not on the soap. If you look into Oprah or Dr. Phil, you can shop nonstop or pop a pill, but the void won't fill and the pain won't kill till you love the one that hung on the hill. Kicking back in your lazy boy easy chair, watching who wants to be a millionaire. Nah, you're not gonna find it there. No American Idol or Council Tribal has a final answer that'll satisfy you. CSI ain't got a clue. SVU don't know what to do. Not the ER or the OC. Nothing on a CD, TV, DVD, or MP3 can save you and me. CNN's got no good news. Here's a headline. You must choose. It's not a simple life, Parasilt. That's treading on thin ice, living in sin. You can be an apprentice for Donald Trump or eat fear factor fast food from a dump. You can be a heavy hitter, a wheel of fortune winner, a box news, no spin spinner, a flat out sinner. But you better check this life that you're living and make sure you sons are forgiven. I bet you 50 cent all this thing came and went. And eventually every black eyed peak went to Bonnie P. Diddy and Britney, every wannabe on MTV with the icy bling, every Dixie chick that sings. They all gonna see the King of Kings. I don't care if you jail or one or Obama. One thing you gotta know, someday you're gonna die, bro. Then where are you gonna go? Hey, I'm not talking some punk junk that's irrelevant like a grandma's church from way back when. It's not some preacher feature on TV and that you need to be liking or listening. The real superstar is Jesus Christ. He's the way. He's the truth in your life. One day he's going to split the sky. He's the brightest light and the highest high. So what I came to say and what I'm telling you is don't buy that stupid stuff they be selling you. It's all designed to fill your head and waste your space until you're dead. Here's the bottom line of my rhyme. Give your life to God while there's still time.
I learned to I learned hi how are you? Everywhere I go I like to sample the local flavor and culture because I'm a citizen of the world. And um, I learned to goon. Which is I guess which is like a box of wine. It's a staple. I always get, I always try to do an Australian accent. It just sounds like I'm a Cockney retard. <laughs> which is very. I feel like that's very true character for me. Yeah. Yeah, we're just a bunch of daggy kids, a passionate goon or wine or whatever. But I do, I do, um, I do because I'm, a, I'm a sexual. I'm a, I'm a grown. <laughs> Sexual adult woman, uh -huh. passable woman. Uh, don't need to cheer. My self-esteem is intact. I don't need any encouragement from outside sources. But I do. I when I um, um when we came to Australia before, of course, Trixie and I were denied entry by your fabulous government. We don't need to get into the details. But let's just say Jamie, who is Jamie at the immigration, the immigration agent, the customs border patrol, whatever the fuck you call it, um, at a, the Brizzy Airport, he can suck a dirty dead bag of dicks. Because... And the funny thing is, um, this morning I saw him. I saw him. Oh, and it was traumatic. I was like, and I had all my paperwork. <laughs> all the relevant paperwork, because I've been a grown adult woman. And um, and he saw me, and I saw him, and I looked at him, and, and it was, at first I was scared, because, you know, I, I was like traumatized from the time before, but then we locked eyes for like 15 full seconds, and then I just slowly and sensually <laughs> traced my bony witch claw hands <laughs> up the curvature of my perky breasts <laughs> along my clavicle off my dainty shoulder and then just do it. <laughs> and then you know he didn't, he didn't see this part but then I went to the bathroom and then I fucked my asshole with that finger. <laughs> Like so hard that I missed my flight and I had to, I had to be. So I guess the joke was on me with that one, but that was very satisfying. Um, you guys, listen, you are Australian. Good for you, good for you. That is exciting, that is very exciting. And um, you know, I've noticed that, um, oh, thank you for tipping by the way. Listen, hey, you know what, hey, listen. You know what, I know it's not a part of your culture, but here we are sharing. We're sharing. I'm bringing a part of my culture to yours because in America, typically drag queens um, don't have a lot of talent. So we kind of have to use that that exchange to really like pad the performance time because you know you can have a have a girl come out do like an eight minute Christina Aguilera medley, but for six and a half minutes there's just still like an exchange of tips going on. So when we so when we come abroad, a lot of girls are like. Oh, what do I have to, I gotta do stuff? And they're just gonna watch it? What, uh, uh, so it's really, it's like, it's really hard. It's a shock for girls, you know, like, girl. So, so, you know, what, like Trixie say, it's so easy to pick on her. It really is. I think she doesn't have any talent, but I'm not sure. She has a lot of talent. She has a huge. She can. She can take like, and I've seen it. She can take like. I don't even know what, what exactly like the physics of it are, but she can take like four. Like four. Um, she can take like four adult penises. In 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 in, in, in it's sort of like her her. It, it's sort of like, it's like it's sort of it's weird because it's like her she. And it's like she, it's like her. Have you ever seen, um, 
You ever seen a Gila monster about to get attacked? And it, um, in a, in a, in a, in a just sort of like it, and and, and and it's like it is like in um, it is like in the movie Contact when Jodie Foster went through the wormhole, and, and it's like you're just zooming by and all these the, the wormhole is correct in this metaphor. So and then, and then all of a sudden and all of a sudden it just closes in on you and you're on the beach with your dead dad. It's, it's wonderful. <laughs> No, 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 there's no jokes here tonight. Um, you are Australian, and together, we're having a good time. We're having a good time, and I know how to say one thing in Australian, which is just English with an accent, right? Um, would you like to penetrate my anus with your finger? No, when I went to Brazil, first of all, those people, I don't, they are, they, they, if you get this close, they will literally tear your limbs off and then fuck you with them. Like, they're so intense, so I appreciate your guys' you, you have an enthusiasm, but you're also civilized, which I like. Um, so, is there another word for dick? Like, that, is there a slang term? Huh? Schlong? I don't know that word. Is there something like in a... Cock. Just cock, you don't have like a separate, you don't have like a whole separate thing. But what do you call a pussy? Cunt! 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 It's a cunt! You guys like cunt, okay. Good. You don't have like a colorful local term for it? Lady Gaga! Oh man, but that, that's, that isn't that like the, the, the pubic hair? Alright, this, this isn't going anywhere, I'm just saying, sorry. Um, okay, so, well, we're gonna do another round, and, um, okay, just shut up, I got it. We're gonna do another round of shows, riveting, riveting performances, by the way, oh my gosh. Absolutely riveting. The best thing about traveling around and, and watching the girls in each city is that you're reminded about how terrible you are, and they're all so good. Um, so, and we also have merchandise out for sale. Uh, good quality. You buy now. You by now, uh, my assistant Lee Ling is a um, 75 year old Asian woman and she couldn't do the whole, she couldn't make the 26 hour flight because she, she's been battling with heart disease and leukemia, but um, she usually comes and bullies me about my weight and then um, and then encourages people to buy, so I have to be a to be a mature, aggressive saleswoman tonight and encourage you to buy my merchandise, which is very good quality. You buy now. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. And listen, you can wear it anywhere. Um, you can wear it to the gym, you can wear it to a funeral, and you can just put, um, if you uh, accessorize it with a nice scarf, you can wear it to uh, the office or something. It's very, it's very, uh, it's, a good, it's a good deal. Okay, um, so thank you guys so much, and we'll see you at soon for another thing. Yeah.